um, you know, Colchester were very disciplined and and defended very well and defended very sort of very organised. So for a debut for for Troy Parrott, there wasn't a huge amount of space to work with. Um, I sort of made the point in the, in the piece I did that, like you know, Irish teams don't like Irish international sides won't have this type of possession against a packed defence. Generally, might even be the other way around sometimes. So, like he had a few nice touches. He linked play okay at times. He kept dropping deep to try and get in the ball, um, but it just didn't happen for him in terms of maybe attacking opportunities that he would have liked. But as, as John I think mentioned there, that this is just a step forward. I and mean, I asked Pochettino about him afterwards, and he was he was adamant. But listen, he is going to be an important player for Spurs. There is no doubt. There is no sort of equivocation when it comes to that. But it's going to t- maybe take one year, two years of, of playing in these type of fixtures. And like he's on that circuit. I mean, sometimes players of his age are sent to places like Colchester. You know, and I think Parrott is taught, uh, you know, he's, he's rated above that in the sense that he, he's, on the, he's on the cycle of being a first-team player. But you're not just going to come in and, and tear things up um, it's, this is about taking a step forward, and, and I said there's bigger things going on at Spurs at the moment. So he maybe just got caught up in a lethargic performance for everyone last night. But in terms of his own career, it's, it's a pretty decent step forward still. Daniel, uh, just on the vibe of Spurs, I wasn't on TV because you were watching Portsmouth at Hampton. Did you get any kind of vibe of dis, you know dissatisfaction? I mean, it's funny that Ericsson came on for Paris and he missed the penalty, and I get the feeling at the moment Ericsson just does not want to be there. Yeah, I, I, thought I was struck by it afterwards, like the, just in the press conference afterwards and the tone of the questions and stuff. Uh, I think there's possibly a bit of a feeling amongst the sort of the lads who maybe cover Spurs regularly and you can tell that they're, they're picking up on maybe Pochettino's, a bit of frustration from Pochettino as well. And um, he, he made reference maybe to January transfer market and just, just indirectly. Um, just, just, just the type of language and the type of tone which suggests that everything just isn't isn't quite great at the moment. And yeah, I mean, Ericsson obviously, what you know, there, there, was, there was a sense that uh, you know he could have been gone, as everyone knows. And it, it, it just seems that they're in a sort of a, a weird limbo at the moment. And, and that it was very hard to just put your finger on what was wrong with them last night. I mean, it wasn't like they're missing something in this particular area. There was just an overall uh, lethargic nature to how they played. Uh, that I think would worry you. And I think there was that feeling that, yeah, and I mean, even with the Troy Parrott hot on, because Pochettino was a great manager for him, um, and he's got a great reputation for developing players, and you just hope that he's going to, that that regime is going to stick together, but there seems to be seeds of doubt there about the whole thing right now. Any worry that Pochettino might feel that his work is done now at Spurs? Yeah, I think, uh, you, you just wonder, you know, you, you, like what more can he do there if he feels that like if the team has not progressed from last year, and all of a sudden you're looking at a situation where okay, your Ericsson does look to go in the next window, the next available opportunity, um, you know, have have the uh, are the top two just still the same distance ahead that they were before? I think they're they're record in the league away from home. I think since, since the turn of the year was actually very poor, and yeah, it's possible it's possible that they might be approaching a crossroads here. Um, and I'm sure Pochettino might sense the way things are going. Uh, so, yeah, unless for some reason he's going to be given... He signed new players that aren't ready to sort of come into the proper first eleven yet. So uh, there is... Just just listen to the mood of people who know what have seen better and, and watch it. There is a sense that things just aren't quite right. And that's something that you could pick up on last yeah. night, definitely. All right, Dan, good stuff. Thanks a million for joining us this morning. Thanks, lads. See ya. Dan McDonald giving us some uh, immediate reaction to the news that uh, Kevin Gilban is. <laughs> I mean, sorry. <laughs> Troy Parrott. <laughs> Troy Parrott played last night for uh, his, the very first time.